Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience tuning in in the South and also those joining us online worldwide, thanks to our friends at iHeartRadio. We're glad you all could be with us as well. We're excited to welcome for the very first time to our program today, actor Khalil Kane. We'll talk to Khalil not only about doing what he loves as an actor, but also what it's been like for him to see the response to his work over the years, including with the new romantic comedy called Coming to Africa. I've had a chance to see it already. You guys will get your opportunity on Friday, November the 20th. 7th, when it makes its appearance on all digital platforms. We'll talk to Khalil about the film and, of course, let you guys know how to stay connected with him. Khalil, thank you so much for the time, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Oh, man, glad to do it. We're going to get into coming to Africa here in a bit. I want to talk about this journey for you. As I said, it's your first time on with us. What has it been like for you, Khalil, to be able to reflect on your journey as an actor and, and, and the success you've been able to have over the years? Um, I, I'm still in the middle of it. Man. Like, uh, I don't, thinking about it now, you're talking about, I don't know, 28 years I've been, I've been doing this, but it seems like five minutes. So um, I, I am able to have some hindsight. Mm-hmm. I think uh, it's been a lot of fun. I can't, I can't really look at it as work. I love what I do, um, the ability to travel and learn. I mean, one of the great things about doing what I do, like I did a film in South Carolina, we shot this film called Renaissance. Hmm. Um, Kenny Marshall directed it. Danny DeVito starred in it. Gregory Hines was in it. Kiki Hardison, Mark Wahlberg, Richard T. Jones, and, you know, a bunch of people. It was James Remar was in the film. Um, but we shot half of it in Columbia, South Carolina, and the other half in Los Angeles. I had never been to Columbia, South Carolina. We shot it on an army base. We literally went through, you know, a, a a small basic training with real drill sergeants. I learned a lot. I mean, and, and it was in the course of the job, you know. I got to meet, like, these drill sergeants and, and, and learn about their life and how they got there. Um, one of the drill sergeants was the drill sergeant of the year, and he said uh, before he joined the Army, you know, he was thrown out on drugs, had no purpose, and now he's here. He was. Um, and his whole life has changed. And he's molding young men now, young men and women. I mean, the South is a different animal. I grew up in New York. Now I'm here for seven weeks. I did. I got a taste of what it's like to live in a small Southern community. Like, I learned a lot about them. I learned a lot about myself. And it's like that with every job. So I leave for seven weeks and come back. I'm, I'm changed in some way. You know, and I have to share that with my family and my friends. Um, it's, it's a monumental experience. Yeah. Well, Khalil, I think the interesting thing about your career, I mean, anyone who's either been a fan of yours or someone who's been a, a student of your career, I think one thing about you is that you have not been afraid to take chances. I mean, you've been a part of comedies. You've been a part of, you know, dramas. You know, I, it's so funny. I mean, I had a chance to speak with Mike Mayhall on this program earlier this year after they got the daytime uh, nomination for Bronx SIU. I mean, and, of course, he brought yeah. you up and working with you on that. I mean, so you've been a part of so many great casts. Do you still have those wow? moments though you mentioned that experience you just had with that with that project but you still have those wow moments as you go from project to project yes without a doubt surely every every single time every single time i um did a play two years ago in pittsburgh i did uh the dominic morris of the um it's at city theater in, in pittsburgh it was great uh, a wonderful production but um, after one of the shows, the stage manager came up to me and said, there's, there's a mother of a young child um, that says her son is your biggest fan. They came to see the play, and he'd really like to meet me. Oh, yeah, sure. So I go out there into the lobby, and there they are. And here's this you know, young black man, and, and he's, he's probably nine years old. Mm. How did she know my work? <laughs> no, but, I mean, you know, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, 
And I mean, when I when he saw me, I could tell because his eyes got so big. I mean, um, it, it was kind of astounding to me. You know, he had this this juice DVD in his hand, and and um, I sat down on a bench with him, and he just started to cry, and and I hugged him, you know, and somebody took a picture of it. I have the picture. Wow. And we didn't even get to talk to each other that much, but I could feel um, his love, his adoration, his appreciation for the moment. Um, his mother was crying, and the play is phenomenal. If you don't, it, all the people listening out there, Dominic Morso, Amy Garfield, genius. Um, the play is called Pipeline. She, she's an amazing playwright and human being. Um, so, so the play itself is very moving. But that experience for me was, was uh, transcendent. You know, I, I could see, I, I really felt the transfer of, of, of an experience there, you know, coming from something that I did, and I was able to move this young man at nine. So, you know, I know I'll carry that with me the rest of, of my life. Uh, my feeling is he probably will, too. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, exactly. I mean, that that definitely is a monumental thing. And that, again, brings us into how we got this conversation today, Khalil, and that is with the film Coming to Africa. You know, I had a chance uh, to, to talk with uh, the writer uh, and, and, of course, the director as well as actor at the film uh, about this film. Um, of course, this was when it was making the film festival circuit. Now, of course, this month it will be available for the world to be able to see. Um, what was it that drew you to this project? What made you say this is something you want to be a part of? I thought I thought that the script itself was was, was tight. Um, I thought it had uh, some great messaging. Um, it was it was you know the script was good because Anwar and I spoke first and I said yeah man you know sure send me the script and and, and we'll talk. Uh, so he sent me the script and uh, I really enjoyed it and and then we talked some more. And what really sold me on this project is that Anwar Jameson is genuinely a marvelous human being. Um, at this point in time in my life, you know, I want to work with people that I date, you know. Um, and, and Anwar is cool people, man. Uh, his, his task was daunting. I was very impressed by his ambition and what he had planned to do. And I was curious to see if he was just he was going to be able to get it done. So, and he did. So it's, it's outstanding. I, 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 I told, I was in Memphis with him, I don't know what, last week, a week and a half ago maybe. And, and then we had a moment uh, to just the two of us. I, I, you know, I had to tell him how proud of him I was. Um, this is an independent film that he got started and completed under his own scene. Um with a lot of his own money. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't stress how difficult a proposition that is. Um, people think all the time, you know, oh, yeah, make a movie, yeah. This is going to be another television show. It's like, it's not that easy. <laughs> it's not that simple, um, you know. But, yeah, everyone's great. And he's really cool people. He's a joy to work with. Um, you know, a young black man out in the world trying to do his thing. Uh, at this point in time, I mean, I'm about to be 56 years old, so you know, it is it is a lot about, about affecting those coming behind me and being able to help, uh, assist, instruct, inspire if I can. Uh, and that's what Amwa was asking. So I said, yeah, man. And I mean, in in that sort of energy. When he right. was speaking to me. So I was like, yeah, man, I can do that. I can bring that. that let's, let's go. Uh, and we, we still have it well, it's great to know what was happening, you know, behind the scenes. But even in the actual film, I mean, even though it has some funny moments for sure and people will enjoy that part of the storyline, I think even from the very beginning of the film, Khalil, I mean, it, there are other great messages in there about empowerment, about going for your own ownership. Um, was that also part of the fun of this project, that you could kind of do some edutainment in this? I mean, being able to, you know, give some education about the important, because these are successful people we see, you know, in this film in different capacities, you know, why they're kind of going through this thing about love. Was that also part of the fun of doing it? Yes, without a doubt. That's, that's what I meant when I said, I read the script. That was in the script. 
Um, so when I read it, I was like, wow. I mean, as an actor, you get, I get to read a lot of stuff. Coming to Africa, I was like, wow, okay. You know, he has something to say, and it's positive. Um, he's speaking from a place of, of knowing and research and kindness, you know. Uh, I was I was attracted to 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 um, how he port, how he was portraying uh, a professional black man in, in America and what it takes and what's necessary for him to be whole. Such a great message, and I think too uh, one of the things I, I'll mention that I, I mean really struck me is that um, it is not it does not say that anyone is is less professional than the other. Even though you see people with a shirt and tie, you also see people owning barbershops. I mean, and, and I think that that is the thing. I mean, just the idea of of having something of your own and being able to use that even as a conversation piece, as we even see uh, the barbershop being like it is, even you know, in the quote unquote real world, and being a place where conversations are had, you know, and you know, debates are able to be had, and people are able to be kind of built up as well as entertained. I think that's one of the great things too. As I mentioned, uh, coming to Africa is coming to all digital platforms on Friday, November twenty seventh. Of course, our partner here is Amazon dot com, but it'll be a available on all the other places as well, like Apple TV, Google Play, and others. So definitely you guys want to look out for that. It's a great film for sure. And what about yourself, Khalil? What do you have coming up that we should be on the lookout for? Wow. Um, right now I'm in development with the Negro Ensemble Company to put up a play called Lambs to Slaughter that I wrote. Um, our hope, because there's this poetry in the play, so we're doing a poetry workshop starting November 10th with the cast to just oh, wow. want to get ready and develop. But our hope is that we will be able to put it up on stage here in New York September of 2021. But who knows, man? Everything's kind of up in the air right now. Gotcha. So, um, you know, we don't know if they're going to be allowing people in theaters by then. Uh, but that's what we're preparing for, and uh, that's kind of what my focus is right now. I have three other films that I wrote. I have another play that's completed that I wrote. Um, you know, films where development, uh, you know, raising funds and such. This is so American bubble that, that we're working on hard right now. Um, it's, it's, there's always something happening, man. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm hustling. I'm doing the thing. Well, well, look, I know it's going to be exciting, and, and one of the great things is you're, you're really good about keeping your audience updated online as to what's going on with you. So where are the best places for audience to find you, Khalil? Um, Instagram. Uh, that's probably the place where I spend most of my time and effort is on Instagram. It's under my name, Khalil King, K-H-A-L-I-L-K-A-I-N. Um, everything, even my Facebook page, and everything's kind of under my name, Twitter. But I don't really do a lot of Twitter and Facebook. I mostly do Instagram. Um, I try to be current and, and topical, and but I'm also a little wary of social media. So <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm like, but but with that in mind, that's why um, I don't do as much on the platforms. I kind of keep it to one. Um, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm talking to you, and I'm, I'm watching, you know, the, the election updates now. I mean, there's a lot happening right. at one time. Right. Um, so, uh, I want to be, I want to be engaged in my life uh, specifically. And, gotcha. You know, no, I get that. I get that. Part, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, definitely want our audience to stay connected with with uh, Khalil on your Instagram. For those joining us through Heart Radio, we'll be linking that up with the podcast notes. Again, everyone, Khalil Kane has been our guest. Khalil, this has been a great conversation. Thank you Thanks. so much for dropping so much. by the show, yeah, man. man. Thank you, bro. Yeah, and and looking forward to having you back on the program again. I love that. I know. All right, man. Thank you. Definitely want to give a shout-out to our good friend, Willisa Bennett, for setting up this chat with us for today. And thank all of you for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's make today amazing. Take care.